I'm Chris. And I'm Gina. And, and we, we are Hollywood Hunter. Today, I'm gonna show you how I made this little scrolly rope looking wood trim here. Ooh, ah. First, you'll need this. Then, I'll teach you how to make this. Although the stick didn't fly very far, it actually is really straight. Gina and I spent the time to go through and pick out the straightest of these two inch little plant poles or tree poles from uh, the hardware store and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it in like a little makeshift little hand powered lathe and then use my grinder to grind the decorative rope this looks very cool okay so what you're looking at now is actually one of my shelves for the garage that I made for the last house it's upside down it actually goes like this you can hang your clamps right there and you can put stuff in there and there and there and you can well, you see the shelf brackets there upside down. But anyway, that's not important. What is important is that I put this little piece right here and I drilled this hole. And I'm gonna run a, a screw through here into the end of the, one end of the rod. And then on this side, I put this here and I drilled a hole and I'm gonna put the other side of the rod there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut this little pointy end off and cut it down to length. This is way more than I need. I only need like four or five feet but I'll just put the whole thing in here and then we'll just cut off what we don't need. So you can see I got both ends attached. This screw looks a little bent here, but you know what, that's okay. I did the best I could to find the center. And you know what, not only is this gonna take like five times longer than if you had a lathe, but we're doing this by hand, so it's not gonna be exact anyway. So the next thing is we wanna try to create this. So the first thing I'm gonna do to kinda help myself is I'm gonna use some two inch tape and I'm gonna put them at approximately about 55 degrees. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a piece of tape right next to a piece of tape, right next to a piece of tape. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, so using a measuring tape is not really necessary for what I'm doing here. So how I did this is I tore one large piece and then I used a small piece just to give me the spacing and then another large piece and then a small piece and I just repeated the process. Now I'm going to turn this and I'm going to tear it off. I can use either use that short part or I can tear a new part and just connect these two on every other one there. And that'll give me my little candy cane pattern. So the next thing is if you guys have like a battery operated circular saw or one of these little ones like this, it's really easy to, to handle. Uh, I just set the blade for about a quarter of an inch or however deep you want your little decoration to go. I don't want to go too deep on this one because I'm going to be cutting it in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to freehand uh, and I'm going to cut as I'm spinning this thing. And I'm basically just trying to get as close as I can on the edge of this tape line. You just have to get that groove uh, deep enough to where you can see it once you take the tape away. Okay, so now that I have the grooves cut on both sides, I'm going to start to grind this inside one but in between each one of the tapes. You can kind of see where I made a couple mistakes and again it's not going to really be noticed too much. I wanted this to kind of look handmade. If you were trying to go for something like super perfect, this is definitely not the way to do this. I tried to be careful not to dig too much into the uh, portion that's under the tape and I'm just basically slowly molding this as I turn it with my hand. Uh, you can set the trigger on the grinder to just stay on that way you don't have to sit there and squeeze the trigger the whole time this is going to take a while um i think i finished one in like an hour or so but the thing is is uh you know just turn on some music and and keep spinning and grinding spinning and grinding make sure you wear a mask especially because this stuff's got some treatment on there 
Once I do this side and this side, then I'll take the tape off and, uh, and then I'll do these two sides. And sometimes it's easier for me to just pick up this whole shelf and spin it around to do the other side. This just because I'm right-handed and it's, it, it's easier for me to work this direction. That's a nice little helpful tip, unless you're left-handed. Okay, so I went through and I rounded off both sides of the inside of the tape. Now I'm gonna remove the tape and do the two sides under there. And I just went through and did a real fast version. I'm gonna go back through and make it nicer, and make it prettier, that kind of thing. But it's starting to take shape though. It looks like a real cool wizard's walking stick. All right, so I got that all finished. Now you can see it's pretty uh, groovy from the uh, from this sanding disc. It's pretty 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 rough grit. So now what I'm gonna do, and before I go any farther, is I'm gonna take a drill, like a drill motor, with a sanding drum on there, and it's a little bit. It's still a pretty rough uh, grit sanding drum. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it at this angle. And this kind of hard to do, but you just hold it and slowly spin and then just go through here and kind of smooth it out. It also kind of evenly creates a shape for you that's consistent all the way down. So now that I got that kind of evenly sanded with that drum there, uh, you'll notice some of these gr deep grooves that uh, I did with the grinder. Um, you can get a lot of this out by using just uh, an assortment of files if you have it. So like I'll go through and I'll, I'll use this round one to kind of take out anything that's in the center there. And then anything that's like a little bit wider, I'll go through on the sides and, and do this. And I just kind of do this a little bit. And then I also will use the grinder again to, uh, to do anything that's really deep and just really lightly, carefully kind of just mold it and keep shaping this thing. And uh, it's, it's already getting smooth enough to uh, not worry about any slivers or anything, but when we get all finished shaping, what I'll do with some, with like a, a, a little sander is I'll, I'll just take a, a finer grit sandpaper and just kind of go over this, smooth it out really good. This is as good as I'm gonna get this one. Uh, this is now perfect for if you were doing like something like a carousel prop or um, a barber pole or a walking stick or you know anything with this kind of a design. But for our purposes, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it off of the little mounts there and then I'm gonna set my table saw for exactly half the thickness of this thing and rip it in half. And I'm gonna be really careful not to spin it as I'm going through the saw. And again, you know, because of what we're doing, this doesn't have to be exact. If you were trying to make something for like a grandfather clock or something where it had to be real precise, this is probably gonna um, not be the coolest way. Well, they're all on there now. What do you guys think? It's awesome. Thanks, honey. Now, I'm gonna get to work on the little shelf pieces and uh, keep moving along. But if you guys wanna watch any of our other videos and check out some of the other stuff that we make, subscribe. I'm just gonna keep painting. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs>